Hi, good day all of you. Welcome to our session. Welcome to our channel, Intelligible Tutorials. In this today's session, now we are going to discuss about a new thing of the resolution. That means before going to the resolution, what are the things that we are taking into the consideration? That is conversion to the class form. In our previous videos, already I told what is the meaning of the resolution, how the resolution can be done, and what are the steps, what are the various types of the resolution. That means resolution in propositional logic, like uh, uh, resolution. That means we are resolving the things like uh, P and negation P and both will be cancelled finally we get contradiction that is nothing but the resolution and we completed this in our previous sessions uh, this resolution can be done in two ways one is the predicate logic and another one is propositional logic okay so propositional logic resolution already we have completed we have to we, we didn't complete this predicate logic now we are going to see so this is called the resolution so what I want to say is before going to the resolution we have to take into the conversion to class form. So that means uh, whatever thing that is given you have to complete it, uh, you have to convert it in the form of a simple form. Uh, the simple form can contain the disjunctive form that is like this, these are the disjuncts. You have to convert it in the form of such kind of the disjunctive form. Okay, so what is the purpose of this conversion of this class form? What is the class form actually? The class form can contain the implications and as well as sometimes by implications also. So this uh, complex form will be converted into the class form. That means this one, horn form or the class form or distinct to normal form, whatever it is. We have to convert it in such kind of the form. Normally we do this thing while working with the resolution only. So we have completed in our previous, previous videos what is the meaning of the resolution in proposition logic. Now we are going to discuss about what is the meaning of the uh, resolution in uh, before going to the resolution how to convert it in the form of the class form and next video we are going to talk about what is the meaning of the predicate logic how it going to be converted. Do you understand this? What is the meaning of the conversion of the class form? What are the advantages of this conversion of the class form? It is also called as disjunctive normal form. All the literals can contain these symbols only disjunctive symbols like uh, A, R, B, R, C, etc. Okay. And it should not contain any kind of the complicative symbols uh, like uh, implication for all their existence like that such kind of the symbols it should not contain. And one more thing of conversion of the uh, class form into this kind of the form is uh, make it as simpler form and reduce complexity. It reduce the complexity. This is highly complex statement. So whenever we convert it into the form of the disjunctive normal form, it is simpler and non-complex, simpler and non-complex form. That is the purpose of this conversion of the classes into the uh, class form or it can also be called as Han form, Han form also, H-O-R-N, Han form and as well as it is also called as the disjunctive normal form. Okay, so now we convert this entire complex statement into this form. Let us see how it can get converted. Actually, we do this thing while working with the resolution. Uh, how the resolution can be done? This resolution can be done in whenever the literals are there in the disjunctive normal form only. And uh, the literals are there in sometimes it may be in the conjunctive normal form also but we cannot do this uh, kind of the resolution when it is in the form of such a kind of the complex form what we are seeing now okay so before going to the resolution we have to reduce the complexity of the literals and their connections okay reduce the complexity of the given literals and the connections this entire statement will look like as P implies Q, right? Okay, so what is the first inference rule it is saying is P implies Q, that is negation P R Q. Okay, so we have to convert this entire statement into the form of negation P R 
q so what i have to do now see for all 